Hello Digital World, I am the Hero of Julios once again with another pack of Digimon card openings. And, uh, well, this week we got a very special pre-release box. I went to the pre-release event, so I've got some pre-release cards. I'm going to say pre-release a few more times just to get it out of my system. Uh, there was a pre-release tournament event going on that I actually participated in, and I actually took first place. I'm very proud of myself, and I uh, have the special Chimeramon card and the Aereo Vidramon for winning that I'll show. I'll show those first, but uh, without further ado, let's open up our Battle for Onimon box. So, we'll start things off by showing off the Chimeramon card. It's a alternate art from uh, BT2. Just, uh, you know, on play, you delete one of yours to delete a level 5 or lower Digimon on your opponent's side of the board. And then I have this nice alternate art of Aereo Vidramon. Uh, it's a little hard to tell, you know, it's but it is holographic. I still have it in the plastic wrapping just to keep it nice. I've got a few um, booster packs to open for America's BT, you know, 1, 2, and 3 are combined into the similar pack, so... It is, uh, you know, is what it is. Our box topper card is Ty and Matt, which is really nice. I plan on running an Omnimon deck, so it's cool to just have a really cool version of it to just play in the deck. Now, when you go to uh, pre-release events, at least for the Digimon card game, there is special release packs. It contains 30 uncommons or 26 um, rares are among the pool. You only get two cards for the pack, but... Let's see if we got any cool cards in our pre-release. Ooh. So to start things off, we have Mega Digimon Fusion. This is uh, the card that just makes it really easy to summon um, level 7 Digimon like Omnimon. And uh, it has the cool little pre-release written on the side there. Our other card is, aw, a Yokomon, with pre-release written on it. This is really cool if you're using a Digiburst deck, because if it's uh, trashed as a Digiburst effect, your Digimon will gain extra power. So, now on to the big boys. These are the booster packs. We got 44 commons, 30 uncommons, 26 rares, 10 super rares, and 2 secret rares. Personally, I'm really hoping for uh, the War Greymon in this and uh, Metal Greymon Ultras mode for my red deck. But let's start off. Our first Battle for Omnimon booster pack card is Paledramon, followed by a Weedmon, who is a good Digiburst effect. We got. Vajramon, just a strong purple Digimon. Cubimon, a yellow Digimon that um, inherited effect makes your opponent's security Digimon weaker. Gesomon, just a good champion level Digimon. Got Rowdy Rocker, lets you place a red level 4 or lower card from your hand to under one of your Digimon, giving you draw 2. We got an Agumon, which lets us look at the top cards of our deck, and we get to add a Greymon and an Omnimon into our hand. So that's pretty powerful, especially if you're running a Greymon Omnimon deck like I am. We got Zanbamon. Pikmon is a little Digi Egg Digimon for us. Gabumon. Metal Garurumon as our first rare. Uh, when Digivolving, if he has a Digimon with uh, Garurumon in its name in one of his Digivolution cards, we can send one of our on-delete opponents back into their hand. And for our second rare, we have the Izzy and Mimi card. So that's pretty good for, um, you know, just any green deck, really, because your opponent suspended Digimon, you get extra memory, and then we can reveal the top three cards of our deck when a level 5 Digimon's attacking. And if one of those is a level 6 Digimon, instant Digivolution. Pretty useful. For our next pack, we have a Karamon, which is our first black card. Sayakomon. Another Cubimon. A black Growlmon. 
is a purple card with a pretty good uh, security attack bonus if uh, we have one of our other Digimon deleted. Triceramon, just a big bruiser red. Demonic Disaster lets us delete one of our Digimon to unsuspend one of our purple Digimon. So, a lot of purple cards um, wrap themselves around deleting and pulling from the discard pile, so it's pretty useful. Piximon is a strong, cheap, uh, ultimate level green Digimon. Ooh, we got an Infermon. I, that's that's another card I'm hoping to pull is uh, Diaboromon and Armageddon because there's a lot of Diaboromon support in, you know, like Infermon and things like that. We got Neptune Mon, which uh, can't be attacked. That's just really good because you can swing with him super confidently without worrying about your opponent taking advantage of that. We have an option card, Absolute Blast. Uh, trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon, then return the opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the bottom of their opponent's... Wow, I can see why it's six cost. That's pretty useful. And for our rares, we have Sora and Joe. And hey, what was I looking for? Metal Greymon Alterus Mode. Uh, if he digivolves from a Metal Greymon, uh, he can delete one of our opponent's 4,000 or less DP Digimon. It's really cool because um, you can either digivolve him straight from a Greymon, or, well, any Digimon, for three, but you can digivolve from another ultimate level for only one. This works great with Metal Greymon, obviously, for the delete effect, but if you want to, like, stack up multiple on digivolving effects or if you want to, you know, more digiburst material underneath, it's pretty, pretty useful. All right, for booster pack number three. We have a Commandramon, <clears throat> Mori Shellmon, which is just a really strong champion. We got Starmons. Let me tell you, these Starmons, they saved my butt during the uh, pre-release event. They deleted a lot of rookie level Digimon, so don't sleep on those guys. Kurasarimon, which uh, if you Digivolve them, you lets you play an Arata Sonata card from your uh, hand if you don't already have one. So it's a good way to catch up if you're find yourself a little behind, not able to get Arata out really quickly. Uh, Talmon, which has the same effect as Cubimon, with the security Digimon getting weaker. Black Mock Galgamon, which is a good reboot, and it has a great reboot support ability when uh, Digivolved from it. Supreme Cannon sends away Digimon with 3,000 or less DP to back to their hand, unless you're using a Garurumon or a Omnimon, in which case you get the bonus of it being 5,000 DP instead. It's great against Rookie Rush. You can't actually fly. So you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if you have a level, if your opponent has a level 7 Digimon in play, you can trash the top card. I like that despite um, adding a bunch of level 7 Digimon in this booster pack, they added a lot of anti-level 7 Digimon cards, just to keep things balanced. We got another Infermon. We got this Greymon. If he digivolves from an Agumon, we gain a memory, and then he gives more power to um, Omnimons and Greymons that come from him. For our rares, we got Sakuyamon. Ooh. When an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area, they gain security attack minus three. So that's pretty powerful, actually. And then on our turn, all of our opponent's security Digimon have three. So combine this with the Cubimon and Talmon underneath, and that's 5,000 less DP. And another Metal Greymon Alterus mode as our other rare. So that's, we are, we're good. We're already halfway to all the Metal Greymons I need. <laughs> all right. Pack number, I think this is four. I'm going to stop counting, though, in case I'm wrong. We got Musayamon, just a purple Digimon with jamming. That's pretty good. Another Triceramon. Floramon, just a cheap, easy to Digivolve rookie. Mechanorimon, this is a great Digimon card. This one, um, not only is he a blocker, but if he destroys a Digimon, you know, by blocking them, he can unsuspend himself. So he's basically a permanent wall against anything 5,000 and less. Another Vajramon. 
another Supreme Cannon. Joker Mon, we can play a level one, oh no, sorry, one level three purple Digimon from our trash without paying its memory cost. Oh, when he's deleted, okay. But they don't get their on-play effects. That's good to know. Revive from the Darkness. Uh, we delete one of our purple Digimon, then play one level five or lower purple Digimon from our trash without paying its memory cost, and then on-play effects don't activate. That's a pretty good card. Pretty good. Uh, Zanbamon, so another purple card. We got three in a row. That's crazy. Oh, hey, and another Infermon. Good for us. Ooh, our rares are another tie and mat, so halfway to getting a full set of those. Ooh, and this is very nice. This is, this is an Omnimon. This is the one with, this one has Blitz. Uh, when he digivolves, he unsuspends. So if you have, um, like, War Greymon or Metal Gururumon or any Mega Level Digimon before him, you can, you know, attack once with the Mega, then attack another time with Omnimon. And on all turns, if an opponent's effect would delete this Digimon, you can instead use the um, level 6 Digimon it digivolved from as a kind of like a bait and switch kind of deal. So he stays on the board for a pretty long time, not to mention how powerful and look how shiny he is. This is one of the, uh, I think he has like four alternate arts. This is just one of them, but this is very cool. I forgot to grab my uh, little pouches. I'll be right back. And just like that, nice and sleeved, nice and protected. We got that nice and safe. All right. So that was our first super rare and an alternate art, no less. So good for us. Good for us. All right. Well, let's see if the next pack can do even better. Next, we have Vajramon again. We got a Dorbikmon, which... Uh, it's a really strong mega level Digimon that when attacking, we can trash a red Digimon from our hand and increase his power by that amount, by that Digimon's DP. So, for example, if we went with the Triceramon and it was an extra 8,000, now he's a 19k, you know, DP Digimon. That's a pretty strong card. We've got Daramon, who gains DP for other suspended Digimon in play. Our Digimon, not our opponent's. Uh, we have a Black Galgamon, which um, when a Digimon has Reboot, it also gets jamming. It's like uh, the Greymon from BT2, I want to say. Marine Devimon, a really strong ultimate level blue Digimon. Another Piximon. Ultimate Flare. This D Digivolves a Digimon by three stages and deletes all Digimon with a play cost of three or less. So it is a massive board wipe and will most likely take out um, any ultimate level or mega level Digimon, forcing it back down to its rookie level, which they tend to cost three. So that's that's a very powerful card. Oh, hey, a Yokomon. Not as impressive as our pre-release Yokomon, but that's pretty cool. A transcending sword, a transcendent sword, not transcending, transcendent sword, uh, lets us Delete an opponent's Digimon with 11k or less DP, unless we have Omnimon or Greymon, in which case it is 15k. That's pretty strong. Shooting Starmon. On deletion, we uh, one of our opponent's Digimon gets 3,000 less DP. Nokia. Uh, so for those of you who haven't played um, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, this is one of the um, main protagonists and also one of our rare cards. Uh, when we play her, we can play an Agumon or Gabumon from our hand, and we, when we Digivolve a Digimon into Garurumon, Omnimon, or Greymon, we can suspend this Tamer to reduce the memory by one. That's actually pretty tempting to put in my uh, Agumon deck, my uh, Greymon and all that. Oh, speaking of Greymons, our other rare is Black War Greymon, with an extra security attack and reboot. Still trying to figure out how to open these booster packs so that they just always come out nice. But they always want to fight me. Maybe they want to fight me because the first card in there is a Garbage Mon. 
just a strong ultimate level green Digimon who came in handy a lot during the pre-release event. I, I'll say he he did save my bacon a couple times. We got Gessomon, got more Starmons, got another Dorbikmon, another Black Growlmon, got another Gladimon. Oh no, we haven't had another Gladimon. This is Gladimon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when you play him, you can search our security stack for a warrior or a holy warrior Digimon and add it to our hand. If we do, we gain recovery plus one. So, basically, it's a even if you don't find a holy warrior or a warrior in there, it's a great way to at least check your security stack to see how careful you need to play. Plus, it also works with Lord Nightmon, who is a super rare that we can get in this booster pack. Got another ultimate flare. And hey, we got a Coromon. Uh, if he is the material for a Greymon or Omnimon, we can draw an extra card when we attack. That's pretty neat. Spiral Masquerade. For every Digimon we have, we can lower an opponent's Digimon's DP by 3,000 or less. You get a wide enough board, you could delete even the biggest Digimon. We have Neptune Mon. Ooh, and for our rares, we have Catastrophe Cannon, which uh, lets us D-Digivolve 2 on one of our opponent's Digimon. And if we're running a Diaboromon deck, which I want to, we can uh, gain another Diaboromon token, which is pretty nice. And our other rare is Argomon, a mega-level Digimon with Digisorption 2. Um, when he Digivolves, we suspend our opponent's Tamers, and they don't unsuspend as long as he's on the board. He's a big threat against uh, Tamer-friendly decks. Next booster pack, we got Starmons. We got Musyamon. We got a Monochromon. He's a cheap Digivolving blocker Digimon with 5k attack. That's pretty nice. Another Mori Shalmon. That's a strong champion. Another Mecha Noramon. I'm hoping we get four, because getting enough of those in my... Uh, deck would be great for my blocker deck. We got a Garurumon. It's the same as the Greymon in this booster pack, except with Gabumon, we gain a memory, which is cool. Demonic Disaster. Hey, a Rosemon. Uh, it's Digiburst. Boosts the power of Digimon with Digiburst, giving them more security attack. So, it's great in a Digiburst deck. Shademon, it's a blocker, but it also jumps into battle from security, making it very useful, especially in a situation where maybe your opponent only has two Digimon and you only have one security card, turns out to be Shademon, he can block and give you at least one more turn. Then we got Koromon, and for our rares, my third Metal Greymon Ultras mode, and all delete. We return an Omnimon card uh, back into our hand and delete all Digimon and Tamers, basically setting the game back to zero. Now, granted, it's a 10 cost card, so it's a bit of a gamble because you're going to be giving your opponent a lot of memory to work with, probably to bounce back with, but it's a good way to um, re strategize. And who knows, maybe your own opponent only has like a few cards left in their hand, so. It may be, a, may be a great way to just set things back to zero with you in charge. Next up, we got Weedmon, who has a, a good Digiburst effect, which um, allows him to give us a memory when he's used for Digibursting. We got Gaussmon. Uh, these are cool because if you have more than one on the board, they start powering each other up. 2,000 DP is a bit weak for a rookie level Digimon, but you get four of these on board, suddenly they're all 17, or not 17, they would be 14k. That's still nothing to sneeze at. Koelamon, it's a cheap to Digivolve blocker for blue. Another black Galgamon. Cutemon, where our opponent can't reduce Digivolution cost. Uh, it's great against um, the aforementioned Nokia. It's great against Digisorption. Um, it's great just to slow your opponent down if you really need it. Palmon, uh, when deleted, it becomes a Digivolution card, or it can make a Palmon in our trash a Digivolution card for another Digimon. Uh, it's great as a Digi, um, Digi 
burst fodder. Um, it's great for just keeping Palamon cycling because technically she has to be deleted before she's in the trash, which would then throw her self underneath your opponent or underneath your own Digimon. Got another Rowdy Rocker. Another you can't actually fly. We got a fake Agumon expert. Um, on deletion, you return one level three Digimon with an on delete effect other than a fake Agumon expert from our trash to our hand. This is good in a purple deck where you want to get deleted a lot. Another Yokomon. This is the protagonist from uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. This is the one you play as where you can, uh, you know, name him yourself. Uh, this one, they, his canonical name, I guess, is Takumi. Um, when one of your Digimon Digivolves, you can suspend this tamer to draw one. And all level 3 Digimon gain, when attacking, lose one memory. Again, this is great against Rookie Rush, and this is great for if you plan to Digivolve on the fly during uh, any match, which you probably will be. <gasps> Ooh, we got another super rare on our hands. This is Reflezimon? Reflezimon? Uh, it's, uh, not only can it digivolve from a level 5 Digimon, but it can also digivolve from a level 6 Digimon. Uh, with a strong digi burst that gives all of your Digimon an extra 2,000 DP, and when one of your Digimon activates digi burst, one of our opponent's Digimon cannot attack or block until the end of their next turn. So it's a great way to stop a blocker from keeping you from victory, or it's a great way to slow down your opponent if you need to. We're going to just grab a sleeve real quick and slide her in there. There we go, right there with Omnimon. Here we are with another Pale Dramon, who I forgot to mention earlier, but when Digivolving, you trash two Digivolution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. This is a pretty standard effect in blue. Another cute Mon. We got a Pillow Mon. This is just... An adorable rookie Digimon, pretty strong considering uh, how cheap it is to Digivolve into. Another Gaussmon, another Floramon, we got a Jokermon, Nightmon. This is a card that's going to be great in yellow decks. On play, you uh, make one of your opponent's Digimon lose 4000 DP for the turn. This is pretty good, good for deleting a lot of low power Digimon, not to mention. Uh, weakening a Digimon that you may need your other ones to attack. Boncho Lilymon. This is one of the bon like uh, the Boncho Leomon and the Boncho Boncho Golemon. Uh, this one, on in particular, on delete, uh, you return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their deck. Wow. Considering your opponent will have to suspend a Digimon to attack and delete Boncho Lilymon you will more, more than likely get to pull off this effect almost every time she gets deleted. Another Absolute Blast. We got a Gabumon, who's like the Agumon in this pack. Uh, you add one Digimon card with Garurumon or, and a Digimon with Omnimon uh, among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Renamon. Oh, this is one of the rares. Okay. One of our opponent's Digimon loses a security attack. That's pretty good on play. Hey! A super rare followed by a super rare? What is this? Shoutmon DX. When Digivolving, he gains Blitz, which means he can attack even if the memory gauge goes past your opponent's. And when Digivolving, we can place a red Digimon card from our hand on top of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Then for every Omnimon, or sorry, Omni Shoutmon and Z Greymon in this card's Digivolution cards, delete one of our opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. So again, this is a pretty good board wiper. Not sure if I'm going to use him, but it is a nice card to have, and I will definitely be considering Shoutmon. So, oddly enough, we haven't pulled a Shoutmon yet. That's pretty weird. I've gotten Shoutmon DX, but not Shoutmon himself. Maybe this will change things. With our Commandramon first, this is a nice little blocker. We got another Sayakomon, Mori Shalmon, 
troop mon. This one is a this one's gonna go places. On delete, you can play a troop mon from your hand without paying its cost. If your hand's full of this guy, he's just a conga line. He just goes and goes and goes forever. Karamon lets us look for erratas and unidentifieds. Piximon. Meteor Shower, which lets us play a Starmon from our hand without paying its memory cost. So, this isn't great for when you consider like the normal Starmons, which cost three, but if you think about Shooting Starmon, who I believe costs four, I'd have to look again. Uh, Super Starmon is in this uh, booster set, which is a seven cost Digimon, so that's a pretty cool card. Christ Paledramon. Uh, when Digivolving, we trash the bottom Digivolution card of all of our opponent's Digimon. And then his inherited effect gives the Digimon an extra security attack if our opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards. Hey! I was just talking about Shoutmon. Uh, when you play him, you can add a Shoutmon and a card with Blitz to your hand. Got another Rosemon. Wow, the three in a row. The Shoutmons just keep coming. This is uh, Omni Shoutmon as one of our rares. Uh, he can actually warp Digivolve from Shoutmon because this is an ultimate. Shoutmon's a rookie. Um, and then he gives Blitz Digimon an extra security attack. Very nice. And then our other rare is Mega Digimon Fusion, which was one of my promo cards. Well, so far so good. Three super rares. That's pretty nice. I'm kind of hoping to see a Diaboramon, though. You know, maybe this pack will be it. We're starting off pretty safe with Karamon. Another Sayakomon. Got a Cubimon. Black Growlmon again. Another Triceramon. Another Palmon. We got Royal Nuts. If you're immature, that's hilarious. So it's hilarious. Uh, reveal five cards from the top of your deck, and then we can add one Digisorption among them to our hand. Place the remaining cards on the bottom of our deck in any order. So this is pretty useful if you have a Digisorption deck you're running. It's only one cost, and it's a great way to find what you're looking for. We got Pikmon. Monotamon. I love this card because it's on play is just look at the top card of your deck. You don't get to draw it. You don't get to do anything if it's a specific card. It's just look at the top card. Because sometimes information is super important, even if it's just as small as knowing what your next card will be. On deletion, we reveal the top three cards of our deck and then play a monotamon, a monotamon among them without paying the memory cost. So, not exactly sure if you should run four in your deck, but uh, if you can make it work, you can make it work. Got another Transcendent Sword. And for our rares, we got Weislin, or Weislin, Whistlin, Whistling. <laughs> Up to two of our opponent's Digimon can't attack or block. Then if we have a Digimon with Digiburst, we gain two memory. So it would only cost four memory to play this card. We also get pretty much the same effect, except it's until the end of their turn rather than the end of our opponent's turn. Hey, and our, another, our other rare is Arata Sonata. So all we need is some Diaboromons, and we got a Diaboromon deck now. So I did not get Diaboromon, but I did get Arata, which since they're both rares, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to get both guaranteed. So got another Monochromon from this pack. Kotemon, who lets us search the five cards of the top of our deck. We can get two yellow Digimon cards with Warrior or Holy Warrior. So it's very similar to, um, oh, well, I forget his name now. It's similar to the other champion level Digimon we got, but instead it has to be specifically yellow. Got another Daramon. Paledramon. Maramon, when Digivolving, we get a get, we get to give one of our other Digimon 3,000 more DP. Black Mock Galgamon. Demonic Disaster. Oops. There we go. Ooh, Gigimon. 
Uh, when one of our Digimon, when one of our other Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets 2,000 more DP. It's a pretty good inherited effect. Shooting Starmon, ooh, was a five cost. So you would reduce his cost by, you know, two if you were using Shooting Stars. Gilmon, uh, if this card's deleted by an effect, we gain a memory. Hey, finally, we got that Dioboromon as one of our rares. Uh, when he digivolves, we can get a Dioboromon token right out of right out from the gate. Uh, I should have mentioned with Arata, but when we digivolve a Digimon into Dioboromon, we can suspend him to gain another Dioboromon token. So that's pretty powerful. And we also get Wergarurumon Sagittarius mode. Um, if he has a Wergarurumon underneath him, because like Metal Greymon, he can digivolve from either a champion or an ultimate, uh, that he'll gain jamming. And then his inherited effect powers up Garurumons and Omnimons. Okay, so we got that sweet Diaboromon, which means we have our Diaboromon deck. I mean, obviously, I'll want more Diaboromons, I'll want more Infermons, and I'll definitely need more Erratas, but for now, we just have Garbage Mon. Another Kurasari Mon. Koela Mon. Another Kote Mon. Another Troop Mon. Gladimon, that was his name. I just feel silly now. Another sh another meteor shower. Ooh, Zeg Greymon. It's uh, when digivolving gains blitz, and his inherited effect. Ooh, lets you attack unsuspended Digimon if your Digimon has blitz. A blazing storm of metal. Till the end of our opponent's turn, all of our Digimon with Reboot get a thousand DP and Blocker. That's a great way to reset your Blocker Digimon just in time for your opponent's onslaught. We got a Kiwi Mon who lets us search the top three cards for a Digisorption, which is pretty nice. And for our rares, we get Terrier Mon Assistant who has a Digi Burst that lets us add a green Digimon card if they're the top card of our deck. Combine that with Monotamon. I know they're not the same color, but strategies are going to start happening like that. And our other rare is the super cool War Greymon. When Digivolving, if he comes from a Greymon of any kind, uh, he can delete an opponent's Digimon with Blocker. And then his uh, inherited effect powers up anything that comes from him. So, obviously, the Metal Garurumon and War Greymon from this booster pack are built around trying to help Omnimon. So, for our next card, it is Cubimon, followed by Marine Devamon, another Pillowmon, Kurasarimon, Gaussmon, Nightmon, another Garurumon, another Shademon. Hey, Sunomon, what you doing? Uh, he can power up Garurumon and Omnimon cards if he's an inherited. Another Greymon. Oh, put that Shademon on the wrong pile. And for our rares, we get Sora and Joe. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, take a look at this. This isn't just any Omnimon ant X antibody. This is the... Well, I mean, all Omnimon X antibodies are secret rares, but this is the special one. This I'm going to sleeve this while I'm talking. Its artwork is based on, like, the old card game, the one that came out, you know, a long time ago, back in the 90s. Or maybe it was early 2000s. In my childhood. But this bad boy looks like the old card game. It's got a pretty nice ability, too. Uh, can digivolve from red or blue Digimon. Um, it's a hard play of 15 if you want to go that route. Uh, when our Digimon with... Your Digimon with Omnimon in its name can digivolve into this card from your hand for a memory cost of 3. Oh, wow. So we can take the Omnimon we got and digivolve into him. When attacking, we delete one of our opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon. Whoa. That's an instant delete every time we attack. And 
When our opponent's Digimon attacks, we can trash two of this Digimon's Digivolution cards to just end the attack. That would prevent our opponent from attacking at all. It doesn't say when he's unsuspended either, so it could be used to protect himself. Wow. I mean, if I was going to get a secret card, an alternate art X antibody, that's personally i was you know i was thinking wow wouldn't it be cool if i just got like omnimon zwart or omnimon zwart defeat but yeah to get the x antibody and the alternate art no less that's a pretty good day let's keep the fire going though with Maramon, weedmon commandramon gaussmon or gessomon sorry Taumon, another Ultimate Flare, another Agumon. We got old Gigimon. Aw, little Grandpa Digimon. When he's deleted, we uh, gain a card in our security stack. That's pretty nice. Sumimon. I like Sumimon's card, just like the card art here, because I love the way both him and his little baby form are both just like looking up. Like, I want to know what they're seeing. Do they, what do they see? What do you see with your little eyes? That's a cool artwork. This is the Superstar Mon I mentioned, who is not a 7 cost. He is a 6 cost. Nah, I was wrong. Blue Komon is our rare. With uh, once per turn, we can trash a Digivolution card of one of our opponent's Digimon, then gain a memory. That's pretty nice. Ooh, and for a super rare, we get Armageddon which is a wonderful foil to our Omnimon and our Omnimon X antibody. He stops uh, when digivolving effects of seven cost, and we can delete our one of our Diaboromon. I believe this includes the Diaboromon tokens to play him for three. Now, the reason you'd want to play him rather than digivolve him is because he has Rush and 15,000 DP. He's pretty much a wrecking ball. And speaking of Wrecking Balls, I'm hoping maybe this booster box has got one more Wrecking Ball for us. But for now, we got Talmon. We got another Troopmon. We got Floramon. And Caramon. We got Koelamon. More Royal Nuts. Jokermon. Bancho Lilymon, another fake Agumon expert, and Sumemon. And for our rares, we get this Black War Growlmon with a strong Digi Burst effect that uh, lets us play a purple level 3 Digimon from our trash without paying its memory cost. We don't get to use the on play effects though. When we're attacking, we can delete one of our opponent's Digimon, or sorry, one of our other Digimon, not our opponent's, to unsuspend it. So, Pretty good for a rush down deck. And for our other rare, it is the super rare Lord Nightmon. I was mentioning this card earlier. This is a uh, this was a powerful meta card, I guess, in the Japanese meta. So, what's cool about him is, when attacking, we can play a yellow level three Digimon card, or a yellow Digimon card with Warrior in its type, from our hand without paying the memory cost. So, this could be, you know, Nightmon to lower an opponent's Digimon by 3,000 or 4,000. This is great to summon Lucimon from BT4 with a 13,000 DP power. All turns, this Digimon gains 1,000 DP for every other Digimon. So, even if you just act, even if you just activate their effect once when attacking. They bump up to a 12k Digimon. That's pretty powerful. So yeah, I'm going to have to run a yellow deck now. Whew. I don't, I don't know if, the, I don't think this booster packing, uh, this booster box. Yeah, I don't think this box can get any better, if I'm being honest. We already got that X antibody. We already got Lord Nightmon. We got an alternate art Omnimon. This is, the only thing that could make this better is, uh, if I complete my Agumons.
Got a Commandramon and a Mori Shellmon. Some Starmons. Another Kurasarimon. Taumon. Ultimate Flare. Piximon. Superstarmon. Gigimon. Shademon. And for our rares, I got another Takumi. And a Metal Garurumon Super Rare. Uh, he's got Reboot, which just lets him, you know, unsuspend during our opponent's unsuspend phase. And he's got a Digiburst 2, which allows us to delete an opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 6 or less. Now, under normal circumstances, that could be sad, like let's say your opponent just doesn't have one. But, if it doesn't delete a Digimon, we just trash our opponent's security. Just one of our opponent's security cards just... Which is, that's a fantastic effect. And I will definitely have to put him in my uh, in my black deck. We got a Vajramon. Oh, purple pile. We got Dorbikmon, Deramon, Black Galgamon, Marine Devamon, Supreme Cannon, Jokermon, Another Z Greymon, Revive from the Darkness, another GG Mon, and for our rares we get Renamon and Whistlin. Got some drag racing going on in my neighborhood. That's always fun. Kind of makes it hard to sleep. <laughs> oh well. We can sleep with the help of Pillowmon, though. And then we can have some breakfast with Marrowmon. Garbage Mon. Oh, we can throw the garbage away when we're done having breakfast. Look at that. I'm telling a story with these cards. <laughs> Musiamon. Cute Mon. Got Nagumon. Ooh, I think that's our third one. Meteor Shower. Chris Paledramon. A Blazing Storm of Metal. Shooting Starmon, and for our rares, another Nokia, and another Terriermon Assistant. Kicking off our next booster pack is Black Growlmon, Sayakomon, Daramon, another Dorbikmon, Kotemon, Palmon, Demonic Disaster, another Koromon, another Monotamon, another Shoutmon. And for our rares, we got Waru Monzemon, who is a cheap to digivolve black Digimon. That's pretty nice, especially with ultimate level. And Earthshaker. Uh, it lets us delete one of our opponent's unsuspended level 4 and one of our opponent's unsuspended level 5 Digimons. This will go great with Plutomon. Uh, Plutomon came from a uh, different booster pack, so don't uh, expect that card coming out. <laughs> Okay, Starmons, another Musiamon, Monochromon, Morishelmon. Ooh, we got another Mechanorimon. Very nice. Royal Nuts, another Nightmon, Yokomon, Zanbamon, Gabumon. And for our rares, we get Balukomon and Argomon. We're going to start off another booster pack with Monochromon, Black Galgamon, Marine Devamon, Mechanorimon, Triceramon, Galadimon, Rowdy Rocker, Transcendent Sword, Kiwimon, another Pikmon, and for our rares we get Arata Sonata again. And an Omnimon Zwart. Well, that's just good. That's good for me. I was hoping to get him at least. Uh, we got a When Digivolving Power. We trash the top three cards of our deck. Then we can play two black or purple Digimon with play costs of eight or less. Note how it doesn't say their uh, on play abilities activate. So this is, this is a dangerous card. When attacking, we can return a level six Digimon card in this Digivolutions card to our opponent's hand to delete 
one of our opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 12 or less. That's a lot of Digimon to choose from. Very few cost more than 12. Next pack, we got another Paledramon, Weedmon, Varjamon, Cubimon, Gessomon, Mock, uh, Black Mock Galgamon, Garurumon, Gilmon, Greymon, you can't actually fly. And for our rares, Omni Shoutmon and Black War Growlmon. Oh, you hate to see it happen. You hate to be at the bottom of the barrel, but this is our final pack for this booster box. Shall it sing us a beautiful song at the end, or will it just be a bunch of garbage mon? Oh, no, it's not garbage mon. It's pale dramon. Followed up by a cute mon. And a pillow mon. This is a good pack. This is a nice soft pack. Look at that gauss mon. Got a sleeping flora mon. Garuru mon. And an. Oh, hey, the fourth agumon. Well, there we go. Well, then, this has been a complete success. Another Spiral Masquerade, Rosemon, oh, accidentally spoiled one of my rares. We got Sunomon, but for our rares, we get Diaboromon. Oh, and another super rare with Chaos Gallantmon. I I don't think this is the alternate art one. I, I wasn't sure. Um, I'll look it up. I'll let you guys know, but that's a great way to end the pack with a cool looking super rare like him. When Digivolving. We can delete one of our opponents, one of our other Digimon, to delete an opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Then, once per turn, when one of our other Digimon is deleted, we can play a level 3 purple Digimon from our trash without paying its memory cost. And we don't get to activate the on play effects, but hey, that's still pretty cool. So there we go. Uh, after this uh, booster pack, we got a whole bunch of rares, we got all these lovely commons and uncommons. I would say the big pulls today are probably Omnimon's Wart. I'm really happy to have him. And the alternate art Omnimon and Omnimon X Antibody. So this has been a very good booster pack. Bit of a bit of a longer video than usual, but that's because we were opening an entire box of packs. It's just going to take longer. But uh, let me know if I pulled any of your favorite Digimon. I know I pulled a few of my favorites. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is the Hero of Julios, Xing out.